The reason why you may stay longer in your place of prayer is because you've been visited with a revelation of your incapacity. That's the reason why you might need to stay long. Ooh, you will hear men like Paul says, of myself, I am insufficient. You will hear him say that it is the spirit that helped our infirmities. We are we, infirmities in plural. We are a bag of infirmities. But our sufficiency was designed to find expression to the presence and the person of the Holy Spirit. So Welcome to Remnant Apostolic TV. Here you'll be getting powerful messages that will change and transform your life. Thank you. Luke chapter 9, second query. In Luke chapter 9 from verse 51, the Bible says, And it came to pass when the time was come that he should be received up, he steadfastly set his face to go to Jerusalem and sent messengers before his face and they went and entered into a village of the Samaritans to make ready for him. And they did not receive him because his face was as though he would go to Jerusalem. And when the disciples James and John saw this, they said, Lord, we thou that we command fire to come down from heaven and consume them as Elias did. But he turned and rebuked them and said, Ye know not what manner of spirit ye are of. The query here now is spirit query. The first query we did is, Oh. Since you are not following, I will not, I will not proceed. The day I come, when you are hungry, then we'll be talking. We are not hungry today. So I will run away from this scripture. He queried spirit. You know the other first query? Do you still remember the first query? Power. That his inspirations were accurate. His witness that he born about this man was accurate. But he had no miracles. In this scripture, you could see that Jesus had known that the time of his death had come. He had a hide, hide, hideout among the Samaritans where he used to go and resort. And probably they had a, a dish that was his favorite. And they saw him at their border. He had sent word to them that he was coming. They prepared his dish, prepared his room. And as he got to the border of the city, the inspiration about the fact that his time of ultimate sacrifice had come hit his heart. So he was no longer interested in all the preparations that they made. The people came and said, we prepared food. He said, no. He said, we prepared your favorite drink. Women labeled three nights to get this drink. He said, his face was as though he would go to Jerusalem. And then the people say, get out. We are not even welcoming you again. Then James and John, they say, you've been training us. So Jesus taught them how to call fire from heaven. So he said, we've been waiting for an opportunity that will be consistent with the need to invoke power. So these guys are power men. The problem with them is not power. They say, is this not the best time for us to exercise those things we did in the wilderness? Let's call fire on them. And they know Jesus. If you want to say anything to Jesus, you bring a Bible reference. Say, like Elijah did. Notice that John the Baptist was to operate like Elijah. That's why I'm using Elijah as a denominator. And Jesus first spoke to them with his face because the Bible says he turned and looked at them. You know, if you become close to your wife and there's a situation, maybe there are people there and your wife wants to communicate, there's face communication. She can do like this. And that means, let us live here now. The Bible says Jesus turned. He used his face first to communicate. I don't know how many of us are in this place that know when Jesus is communicating with his face. There are levels of intimacy in your work with God. Well, let me leave that for now. He turned. And then he rebuked them. And then he said, you do not know what manner of spirit you are of. What nature of spirit produces that power that you want to wield. 
Now, it means that it is possible for you to have an investment of God upon your life, a, a gift of the Spirit upon your life, and you can administer that gift contrary to the nature of the Spirit of God that provides the gift. For instance, with the gift of word of knowledge, I can tell how much money my brother is carrying. If we begin to worship now, worship, and I really want to know how much money he's carrying, I will know how much money is because I have the gift. And 60% of the time, when we go into worship or prayer, the gift will start operating. Then if I insist that I want to know stuff about this brother, I, the, the gift will be channeled towards my request. 60%, 50% of the time. Then I can pick things about him. I can know how much he's carrying. I can know how old his wife is. All right? So I got the knowledge of how much he's carrying through the gift. After getting that knowledge, I say you are holding so, 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 so amount of rand, and the Lord needs it. Now, stay with me. You are not, you are not, <laughs> you are not. <laughs> the gift was right, but the instruction was not right. I used the gift to steal from him. That's what I did. Because I do not know the nature of the spirit that is behind the manifestation of the spirit of God upon my life. In the administration of the gift, I must administer it consistent with the nature of the spirit that provides the enablement, the ability. If you understand what I'm saying, say amen. amen. That's why I'm saying that a man needs to be restrained when God begins to give him kingdom tools so that his administration of the tools will be consistent with the nature of the God that is behind the manifestation. We've seen gifted people portray God in a light that has casted as passions on young converts. We've seen, we've seen so many gifted people manifest in such a way that the fate of many was shipwrecked. Jesus said, ye know not what spirit ye are of. Hallelujah. In the book of Acts chapter 6, you are going to see that there was an administrative situation that began to bedevil the church of our forefathers. Widows began to murmur, and obviously it was a situation that required the wisdom of God. And the leaders of the household of God, operating under the gift of word of wisdom, came up with a strategy from the Holy Ghost that there was a need to set up some functionaries in the chain of administration that would take care of administrative business. This was the list that came out of that request. Wherefore, brethren, look ye out among you, seven men of honest report, full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom, who we may appoint over this business. But we will give ourselves continually to the ministry of the word, to prayer and the ministry of the word. And the same pleased the whole multitude, and they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Ghost. Can we say the credential of Stephen? A man full of faith and what? Jump to Acts chapter 6, verse 8. Verse 8. We want to use Stephen as a case study. And Stephen, full of faith and power, did great wonders and miracles among the people. Once upon a time, we knew that Stephen was a man of faith and the Holy Ghost. But he had converted the anointing of the Holy Ghost on his life to what? Power. And at this time, when the story of Stephen was told, he was capable of great wonders he was capable of miracles but prior to this time he was not capable of these abilities of power all he had was the anointing of the holy ghost can you see that stephen understood how to deal properly with the spiritual capital and he converted it into an essential an essential utensil that is needed to extend the frontiers of the kingdom of god if you are still with me say amen this is not a day of slumber, it's a day of miracles. <laughs> you 
Yeah, don't take it beyond that point. Listen, listen. The first thing you must know, if the anointing of the Holy Spirit upon your life is going to become power, is that you must acknowledge that in yourself and of yourself, you are insufficient. That your sufficiency is in the person of the Holy Ghost. The idea, listen to me, listen carefully. The idea of man that God had was not mortal. That's not the idea. The idea of man that God had was man in partnership with the Holy Spirit. Listen. Adam in the Garden of Eden had a fruit that he was given access to eat from. And that's the fruit that resulted from the tree of life. And if Adam had eaten of that tree, because Adam in Eden was innocent, he was not righteous. The life of God was contained in that fruit. And if he had eaten of that fruit, he would have become righteous. The Adam of Eden had the nature of man. He did not have the nature of God. The nature of God was in that fruit. Are you with me? So even from the beginning, God's idea of a man is a man that is mortal in the natural, but is operating through the resources of the divine. The concept of man is the God-man concept. God in him is responsible for what he produces. So his life produces God. Meanwhile, when you look at him, he is man. And Jesus was a perfect example of the vision that God had in mind when the idea of man was conceived. In fact, when Jesus went to John's baptism and was coming out of the water, the father says, this one, is my beloved son in whom I well please. This is the idea I had in mind when we set out to make man. Jesus was the first proper man according to the design and the pattern for man. Every time you see Jesus, he will tell you in himself he cannot do anything. Now, except you acknowledge your inadequacy, you will not realize the capacity, the functional capacity of the Holy Ghost. The reason why you may stay longer in your place of prayer is because you've been visited with a revelation of your incapacity. That's the reason why you may need to stay long. Ooh, you will hear men like Paul says, of myself, I am insufficient. You will hear him say that it is the spirit that helped our infirmities. We are we, infirmities in plural. We are a bag of infirmities. But our sufficiency was designed to find expression to the presence and the person of the Holy Spirit. Somebody say, I hear. So pastor declared yesterday, this is a healing night. I know that it's only the Holy Ghost that can heal. So I stayed there. The fact that I have a blue suit to put on will not help matters. So you stay there. until you receive witness from him that okay i see you are talking about healing okay 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 i i'm also interested before i can come out but you know what i came out today because he's interested <laughs> my coming out as a human being cannot help but when he's interested Stay until he becomes interested. Second thing, then I'll just shut down. Then we'll begin to worship. We'll begin to pray. Although there are seven things anyway. When you realize that you are incapable in yourself, you are helpless in yourself, then it means you have accepted a sentence that God sentenced all of us. He condemned all of us to prayer. Condemned us to prayer. The Bible says that he spoke a parable to them to this end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. 
the design for man is that he's a creature of prayer. That's the design. Men ought. You may not be praying every time. That is proof that you are malfunctioning. That's not how you were designed. If I start using this microphone to sweep the floor, even if it's moving some dirt across, that's not what it was designed to do. I'm abusing it. By design, you are a creature of prayer. That's, oh my God. Until you fix the issue of prayer, because prayer is a proof that you acknowledge that you are insufficient. It's a dialect of the helpless. The dialect of the insufficient. It's an adventure of a man that knows he is a bag of infirmity. Because it is in that adventure of prayer that we find the ability we become able ministers of the new covenant to do the things that God is dispensing by his spirit. We become channels through which God can effect his will in the lives of so many people. And that level of capacity can only be acquired when we do the journeys of prayer. And no man will stay on that journey if he doesn't understand by revelation that I am insufficient. Let me rest my case. So because of a, a little insight I began to find on the subject of prayer, I began to give myself to it. I began to give myself to it. It's a pilgrimage. It's a journey for men that know that without God, they are nothing. That's the motivation that keeps you on course, keeps you on track. It keeps you pressing in and it seems that it's silence everywhere and satan is mocking you and saying see you are running old nothing is happening if you yield to that deception it means it does not come to you as a revelation that you are insufficient rushing out of the presence of god without receiving help from him is a proof that you don't know him oh meanwhile for your information it is when you begin to seek the face of god that you will know that god is king mm. Mm. you he can leave you there for 48 days without answering just so that you will know that in this layer in this realm where you came into i'm the only one that has a voice i know you know how to pray but you don't know how to answer prayer you'll be confronted with his majesty the moment you decide to begin to seek his face yes it's because of how how terrible his appearance is that you will not want to offend him by insulting somebody you don't hey, because after insulting when you go back there Oh you, oh, you will answer to his majesty. So a man that really prays is not careless. It's not careless how he re relates with people. A man that really play, prays will not chase after sin. It will constitute a challenge. A man that really prays will not accept your bribe. Because he knows that it will constitute a problem. He wants to live right so that you can always have favor in the presence of God. Tonight God is going to open the shelter. He will open the portal so that men can travel to that place where he that dwells in light resides. That's where your weaknesses will be exchanged for his strength and your infirmities will count for nothing because he will cause you to mount up with wings like eagles. You will be able to do that which is supernatural naturally. You'll be able to do that which is natural supernaturally.